Mm. What's name? Here's another one. I just no no name yet. Wow. Here's, dun, a, here's another dun, one. Dun, dun. Here's another one I like. Flexiona os joelhos de trás na rede diagonal, respira em cima, meia ponta no pé de trás, lá esticado, no pé do lado de lá, relaxa, como se fosse um soco no estômago. build this installation, the main reference was the Dance Partners program, whose origin is in the collaboration project created in 2012 in the rooms of the Dance School Theatre Harlem in New York and Jordan College of the Arts at Butler University. The development of the collaboration project is based on three essential pillars, the exchange, the artistic creation research and the transmission of the content to universities and school by means of educational actions. Starting from this powerful beginning, Tones and Motion has adapted ever since its creation the same methodology of collaborative artistic production, preserving its peculiarities and conception in the performatic actions, both in dance and visual arts languages, based on the tones composed by the North American pianist and the choice of three lyric scores to initiate the process of creation. The songs number three, Infants in a Time Passing, part one and two, and song six, Illumination, define the first tones in motion in the project. A new phase started with the participation of both Brazilian and Portuguese artists, at this point migrating from the parties of the 50th anniversary of Partners of the Americas to the construction of the 50th International Dance Day of the UNESCO's International Dance Community. Dance Partners starts to become a collaborative work where music, dance, and canvas painting integrate and gain new meanings and senses. William Engel's music contemplates the first tones to choreographic review and the direction of the project as a whole. For that, a reflection by Jimenez in the capture, entitled Music and Basic Narrative Forms, states, Beethoven opened the doors of hearts and signed the way of what would become a firm musical rhetoric. Mozart served music well, but he is closed in it and closed eyes with him. He created a closed world and elaborated a kind of tautology. He best wounds values in the note by the note, the word by the word. In summary, the rhetoric ends up imposing his wordness upon us. With Bach, on the contrary, one feels music as a microcosmos, 
fragments of the world international and external to humanity. This construction expresses so many contradictions that one can rest and feel comforted, because his music is not enclosed in himself. It is an image of the universe, an open world. Tones and Motion, a collaborative work, was developed based on the experience of the collaboration project with dance partners and the concept of dance and visual arts using as a reference artist such as Hurt Hansen, choreographer Nunes Giuliano and Gandolf Gabriele having body movement as a perspective.
The transformation of the soil in pigment is made by a series of hands-on interferences that Lorena Steiner develops in a natural process, which builds a change in the operational concept. According to Katani, the mud is the body of the earth. It is always the same body, whatever it may be, but it is at the same time always diverse. Colors, textures, weight, and density vary. The soil naturally develops its strength when manipulated in a complete interaction. Bacalar says, hard matters are a word within the reach of our hands. In the formation and construction of memory of the 50th anniversary of the International Dance Day, the project of artistic performances with music by pianist William Engel and choreography artistic direction audiovisual of the co-author of the present article soon embrace the artistic development of visual arts by the visual artist Lorena Steiner in the creation of pigments from the soil, the painting. This is how the painting with the bodies in movements with the participation of one ballerina was created at Villa Joana House in the city of Canoas, Brazil, a municipal historical heritage, originating a 1 meter 70 centimeters by 2 meters 50 centimeters covered. There will also be a piece entitled Ballet Shoes by Lorena Steiner, made with copper wires and measuring 20 cm high and 6 cm, confectioned by visual artist Lorena Steiner. The second performance by ballet dancer and choreographer Rubial Medeiros and visual artist Lorena Steiner will happen in the 60th World Congress of Dance Research, the International Dance Council, UNESCO, in Athens, Greece, in July, originating a 1 meter 70 centimeter by 2 meters 50 centimeter canvas. The film of the aforementioned performance will compose the audiovisual part with artistic direction by Rubiels Medeiros and the creation of a 15-minute multilingual narrative video about the creative process. The audiovisual record will be accessible via KR coding. The audiovisual proposal as an element of synthesis in several different artistic languages provides the interconnection of the three areas of artistic knowledge, visual arts, music, and dance without fragmenting them through audiovisual language. When mixing languages within a canvas painting, it can be seen that one potentializes the other. The marks of the movements of the dancing on canvas allow us to see the colors, textures, and layers hidden by the gesture itself. Yet, when the thinking of the painting, the dance promotes a more expressive, full of emotional charge, which makes the work even deeper. The interaction between painting and dance gives way to new studies and interpretations about the potence that exists in the relationship between both languages. The trace of the movement exists, but it is in the field of the invisible, and it is made visible through painting. 
The video performance is an invitation to enter this place of ground soil, its rooting and places of expression, the movement sensitive to natural cycles. The piece interconnected artistic languages and the creation transited the interfaces of dance with visual arts using the elaborated plasticity by visual artist Lorena Steiner with the poetics of earth pigments and the marks of movement gestures in the choreography by Rubielso Medeiros, focusing on the marks of the piece through performatic actions and their plastic possibilities, contributing to the production of a painting performance where construction and deconstruction become protagonists of a series of poetic experimentations on the pictorial marks of movement. To strengthen the pillar of the 50th anniversary of the International Dance Day, bindings of time and memory, thinking and revealing gestures of sharing that reveal the future are created of the celebrating of April 29th, 2032 International Dance Day.